What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning, hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a great start of the week and in this video we'll talk about Maker uh, or the M MKR token. Um, we'll do a full update. I mean, Maker, I've, um, it, it's been requested a lot, all right? And I, I just kind of forgot about it. And today I saw the chart and I was like, all right, well, I, I, I still remember that a lot of people requested this. So that's why we're covering it today. Um, it's it, it was a crypto I actually used to trade quite a lot, but it, it hasn't been for a while take a look at this chart i mean since the since the 30th of, of june it's up about 110 uh, percent it just doesn't look sustainable and it looks a bit shady like there, there's nothing i like maker all right i'm a long-term holder of mkr i've been for years um but it doesn't like this price movement is not normal and it, it looks to be manipulated a bit uh, it's been in the winter mute transactions for a long time as well so perhaps they're doing it doesn't matter we'll focus on the technicals for now uh, and the technicals are, are pretty difficult as well, all right? So that's what we'll focus on. There's enough to talk about. There's a, there, there's a lot of different scenarios. That's what we'll do. Before we dive into that, though, I do want to briefly tell you that I have my own premium trading group in which I share my own trades as signals, like multiple, multiple trades a day, usually. But there's also a chat room full of traders and you gain access to my trading guides. If you want to become a better trader, it's very useful. It's up to you. Um, links will be down in the description. But for now, let's uh, let's get into Maker. So um kind of the like to, to start off with with by determining the the market structure for maker right now it's difficult to say because it was very bullish um at least until the first of october and then what you can see is that more bearish momentum started to kick in the emas were lost as supports and now they're even a bit of resistance even though that's being tested as as we speak um this trend line right here which was respected which i mean trend lines are not the best indicator but it's an indication all right so if if you have more like that uh, it will add up so right now maker actually does look pretty bearish with the main resistance level being around 1435 so what i expect and that's also partially based on that i expect some more bearish momentum from bitcoin um what i expect is that maker will drop down towards the support level right here at 1350 which is by far the strongest support level it has right now it's supported by the 200 ema but apart from that it's also technically a strong level all right so what will happen probably i mean it's, it's possible if bitcoin becomes very bullish today that maker breaks above 1435 and then it will get back up towards 1600 etc it's possible it's not the most likely scenario i would say um since what we're seeing in terms of the shift in market structure from from very bullish to um to a little bit more bearish at least uh so based on that i'm saying that i expect more bearish momentum and then i do expect support from 1340 1350 and then from that support what needs to happen first of all it needs to hold but it needs to get a breakout above let's say 1425 all right, not necessarily 1435, but it just needs to get to that level again and get some sort of bullish confirmation. Because if it does, then the support level was strong enough to provide more bullish momentum and price will get back up to 1500 slash 1550. So this is one scenario. On the other hand, and it depends on a lot of factors, so I cannot predict which one is more likely. I'm ho I hope you understand, but it's, it depends a lot on that support. Because on the other hand, if Maker drops down to that level and Maker barely finds support at 1350 and doesn't break above 1425 or 1435, then it's more likely that the, the, the shift continues and that the bearish momentum will result in a break below 1340, which will result in more bearish momentum down towards 1250 and 1220. All right, so that is my full technical analysis on it right now. It's heavily reliant on what Bitcoin does um, with more circumstances also affecting it. So keep an eye on that, all right? But for now, that's what you need to know in my eyes on Maker. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye.